12 hours of driving to do this repair. From Pennsylvania to Atlanta, Georgia. I don't know what part of Atlanta we are, but here's the problem. They had a small leak in, in this area. I went inside, I counted five feet from the window and four feet, and I located the area was leaking right here. But this roof slants this way, so I came to the seam and I started removing some material and I found a little bit of water around the screws around this. And look, we found the leak. So I'm cutting away this. This is not, this uh, material did not stick properly to this uh, edging. They've used some kind of silicone. And look, it's wet here. Look, 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 look. Let me see. You see the wet there? Look, it's wet. Yeah, it's, wet. it's wet. Look, my finger is wet. So, this stuff they've used, they've used some kind of silicon. It doesn't stick. Look how easy it comes off. Look, look, it's wet there. You see the, see the, uh, see the water there? Look, it's wet here. You, you cannot just use any material. Look at how I peel this off. It just peels off. So here's what you do. Put glasses on, clean it. This is a huge problem. Nobody, for, for, for 15 years, nobody could fall. They've had many people come here, fix it. And look at it. It still it wasn't done properly. Every time somebody goes over somebody else's job. You cannot go over. You have to remove whatever is there and start fresh. <laughs> Why it didn't seal is a, the silicon. If you feel here, you feel silicon. It feels uh, 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 smooth. You feel it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, you don't yeah, want it's, that. It's liquidy. Yeah, you don't want that. that that's silicon. What's going to take time now to clean this because nothing will stick to this. Sweetheart, this is like the silicon doesn't come off. That's why the Sometimes you can feel it it's smooth, it's like uh, like oil. Ah, you don't want that. Mm -mm. Okay. I, I, I wish I can rough it up with the sandpaper. All right, so if possible, it would be better to remove these big screws that, um, and put a low profile in it, but I, that doesn't come up. That doesn't come up. This one comes up, okay. I want to remove that where I can. Let's see. All right, remove that one. I'm going to remove this. That one doesn't want to come up. Okay. Advantageous or advisable to sand this like this see I'm scoring it I'm doing it with a brush by the way but if you have sandpaper it's... look at that see how I score it Half an hour just to clean it or maybe an hour just to prepare it you cannot just go and think it's gonna be a five-minute job we don't want to drive 12 hours and come back again so better do a proper job you don't want this to ever leak so that's the point I'm ready ready let me try a little something else here I don't want to smear the silicon back there with the rag so very careful don't put you will not see the silicon it's just it gets just want to make sure I got a few places like that around here I put my coating of turbo poly seal just like that forgot to put the screw in there you go 
Nice. That's nice. You can tell how they close. Yeah. Okay, here we go. We put the fleece. I put it right in the corner there. Right there. <coughs> You gotta make sure you get it in the corners. You cannot stretch it. it. Has to be right in the corner there. Right in the corner there. Make sure you get it in the corner. You cannot just it will gap open. Alright. Just like that. Cover it. By the way, these are the new cans that uh, Bergstrom is using and it really helped a lot because the product was, we had a half can here and it didn't skin over. So if you seal it properly, it's not going to skin over. This is nice. It used to skin over a lot because air comes in. So, hey, that's a good thing. Right there. So I'm going to, starting with an inch over there, maybe somewhere there. So I cover the screws and then I make sure it gets in the corners here. Okay. That's the, the biggest screws. I couldn't uh, take it off. So now I got this problem of going around the screws, but you can see I'm covering every little bit of it over it that you got this fleece laying flat everywhere, not just try to go fast, okay? Okay, now that's gone, I got it done. Another coating over that. The preparation was the most important part. Um, this stuff will not stick, nothing will stick if there's that silicon um, residue, I don't know what they call it, like a, a film of silicon on the metal that nothing wants to stick to it and that's what happened so I'm gonna wait now for about half an hour or an hour and I'm gonna silver coat this but I need to cover that little gouch, the gouch there so I'm gonna cover that gouch over the gouch make sure I got that we're we gonna wait 30 minutes and then it should be touch dry and I'm gonna do a silver coating. You can wait a day, you can wait five months, three months, doesn't matter. But um, you need to silver coat it to, to protect it against uh, UV, UVs, okay? Let's do it. Yeah, so I wanna clean my hands, okay? Asphalt tar remover. And uh, it's nice to have this because it saves your hands. We don't have water on the roof yet. All right, that's it, see? Nice. nice. Is to protect the turbo poly seal from um, ultraviolets, and this is what it is. It's a silver coat protection. It's aluminum asphalt. Okay. So the aluminum is. Look, there's the aluminum at the bottom of the can. You gotta mix it in very, very, very well. Look, see the aluminum? Look at it. And that aluminum is what reflects the ultraviolets or the sun. Okay but you need the asphalt so this asphalt that's in here is compatible with the asphalt that's in there that's why it's a good product now wind is blowing you see the leaves some leaves and debris wants to blow over our work here that's it you got it mixed in and then i take my brush and i just coat this now this is almost touch dry almost touch dry not 100 percent but i'm going to coat it because of time all right, so I've coated this with silver coat protection and uh, it will last a long time. The problem is driving 12 hours here and 12 hours back to do a, a, like a two hour repair, but it was done right. We're never coming back. <laughs>